Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I, <laughs> I woke up this morning and I saw a tweet that said reaction to Final Fantasy 7 remake trailer and I immediately was taken back all the way back to about four or five years ago when they originally released a trailer for the FF7 remake and then we saw literally nothing since then and for a little while we thought the game had maybe been cancelled. Press start, go! Development footage subject to change. Okay, it's the opening, it's the opening mission music. It's exactly how the game starts. Oh, hands up. It's got speech. Have fun. Oh my god! To help take the load off your shoulders. It looks so, like Advent Children. That's easy enough. Are you okay? The English dub is amazing. Here, this is for you. Oh my God! And it looks gamey enough. It doesn't look like Uncanny Valley, like it's too human-like. It looks like they're still game characters. Combat looks good. Straight out of FF15. See the planet suffer. Ha! <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. More to come in June. Well, I am very much looking forward to that. <sighs> so oh. It's not clearly a full game trailer. Still don't know exactly how the combat's going to work, going to have to watch the trailer again. But what really blew me away the most was that, well, when I originally played Final Fantasy VII the first time, I played this in English. And so to hear them speaking English now actually makes total sense. I'm, I'm totally down with it. But I have also seen Advent Children, and I watched that in Japanese, and I was totally down with that as well. So I think actually language-wise I was never going to have a problem, but I don't always get into English dubs as much because I can often tell where things have been like transliterated or where the translation hasn't quite made it. I don't know how to explain it, but there's some things that just don't translate quite right and you can kind of tell when a script has been written in Japanese and translated to English as opposed to being just written in English to look good and sound good in English. That dialogue just sounded so nice natural the way that it was performed so I'm really excited. I can't believe I'm saying this. I think maybe one of the most exciting things for me is the voice acting in this game. It was so well performed and what I really liked is that they haven't gone full-on human-like characters. Of course they're human-like, they're human characters, but they don't look like they've decided to go for ultra realism and sacrifice the game world. It looks like to manage the fantasy Neo-Tokyo look of Midgar, which is the main city in this game. They look anime enough that they're still themselves from the original game, where they were blocky cubes and triangles and polygons. It was hilarious. I'm so excited. We have to watch that again. The return draws closer. The opening is fantastic. Oh, Eris looks up. fantastic. Nothing at all like she looked. <laughs> she was this blocky polygon before. Jesse looked good. Biggs looks good. Are you okay? I'm fine. I love the green of her eyes. Here, this is for you. A flower? They got the mood just right with his voice acting. Okay, so you definitely. So I'm looking at the buttons now. It says you've got a Punisher button and an attack button. Can you bear to see the planet suffer, Cloud? Not sure how I feel about Sephiroth's voice. Maybe because I'm remembering what I heard from Advent Children. All right, now I'm gonna watch it in slow motion. Interesting. So her resting neutral face looks like a smile. Commands menu. So commands menu, attack, punisher. Oh my goodness. So 
Barrett looks a little plain compared to his... I mean, I guess he's taken straight up Advent Children. <laughs> I'm fine. Here. This is for you. Oh, she's really sweet. A flower? So interesting to see life and emotion injected into characters that had no voice before. Are these all exactly the same enemies from the original game? They look like it. Oh, the first boss! Don't attack while his tail's up. I guess it really just has been eight or nine years since I saw Advent Children. And so that's why I'm not that familiar with the look of the Advent Children characters. But they, they are basically the models that they use for Advent Children, right? Something about it though. Might be making this up, but I, I kind of feel like the model's been tweaked or something so that they feel a bit more like their original game versions. Of course, they're hyper-realistic still, but they're not just straight up, let's make them human characters that you might see in real life. They are cartoony enough that they represent their forms from the video game. But then again, they might just be straight up the models from Advent Children. So the reason I'm super excited about the voice acting, especially in this game, is because the thesis that I wrote when I was in university, the title of the whole thing was the narrative use of music in Final Fantasy VII. So the thing that most excited me was the fact that Final Fantasy VII, VIII, and IX were the last Final Fantasy games that only used text and music. After, from FF10 onwards, they had voice acting. And so a lot of the character and emotion was decided by the voice actors. But in FF7, 8, and 9, the music and the theme songs for each character really decided the tone and set the tone of their voice every time they spoke. Especially when Cloud would start telling a story about something that happened in his past, they would turn on this really dark music or this really light music or this positive music. And then while he'd be talking, there'd be a bit where Sephiroth comes back in and they would have the Sephiroth music or the Genova music. No, I'm not gonna spoil anything about the game in case you haven't in case you haven't played it yet. But essentially that's what I'm most interested to see in this remake of FF7. Of course, it's going to look like Advent Children, I was gonna say came to life, became a game, but in a way to me that means coming to life. But really they hit the nail on the head with this trailer, giving us lots of footage of Eris and what she sounds like when she speaks. Cause you don't get to hear a lot of dialogue out of Eris in Advent Children. And so in FF7 the game, where she gets to speak a lot, her character is massively going to be fleshed out thanks to the voice acting. And I'm so, so glad that they featured her so prominently in the trailer because now we get to see, it's not like you just get to go back in time and play Final Fantasy VII again. It's like you get to go back in time and chat with Eris and that's kind of, that's really exciting. This trailer is going to really hit people hard. I think they're gonna really like it because mostly because Eris features so prominently in it. But of course, it's cool to see the fast combat. It looks like you just smash the square button to attack or mash the triangle button. I can't remember which one it is. I'm sure it's gonna be very similar to Final Fantasy XV. Graphics look good, music sounds good. The character models, honestly, <laughs> the character models and the voice acting were what blew me away the most in this trailer. Anyway, that's all I have for this reaction video. What did you guys think of the Final Fantasy VII Remake trailer from, I think it's State of Play, I don't even know what that is. You know exactly how I feel, now I want to know how you guys feel, tell me in the comments. Have you played FF7 before? Please, if possible, don't put spoilers in the trailers because there will be people who will be playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time ever. A lot of people have been not playing FF7 because they figured if they're going to play it now and they didn't play it in the past, they may as well wait for the remake and so now that the remake is coming, please don't spoil it for them, but do let me know in the comments. In fact, if I see spoilers in the in the comments, I may just erase them because, come on, we don't need stuff like that. So yeah, let me know how you felt about this trailer in the comments, and I'll see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.